Right. I hear all the time from women that come in when they have their consultation with us that they're worried about the scar, the scar, right. the scar, the scar. Right. That's all they hear about. Yeah. Um, actually, speaking from my own experience and working with you, I probably drove you crazy with it at first, like everybody else. <laughs> you know, I came to you every day. Uh -huh. um, yes, at first you have, you know, redness, of course, mm -hmm. from any incision like right. you would have with any surgery. And I remember coming to you about it and asking you, and you're like, Missy, just give it time, give it time. And sure enough, um, after a full the time, it's been a good full two years, right. it, what you told me it would take, right. you would never know I ever had anything done. Yeah. I have women, when they come in for the consultations all the time, asking they want to see what the scar or what it would look like after the mm -hmm. length of time. And... I mean, nobody would ever know I had it done except for a little tiny, you know, incision like as if I had a breast dog, right. like anybody else would have. Right. There's no redness. It's not raised. It's flat. It's, it's just, a line. It's just barely right. there. Right. It's wonderful. Yeah, that I think, okay, there's a couple points that I think are worth mentioning along these lines. One is um, when, you, when we do breast reductions, mm -hmm on women mm -hmm. and the traditional breast reduction often involves a rather long incision in the fold area and what we've learned over time is that this long incision on the inside part of the incision near the breastbone and on the outside part of that inframary incision out near the armpit mm -hmm. those two thirds if you will if you think of that inframary fold incision as being in thirds a, a middle third an inner third and an outer third of the incision. The outer and the inner third will frequently develop hypertrophic or keloid-like scarring for reasons that nobody really understands. But with this breast lift, because of the geometry involved in the incision as it passes around the areola and even the vertical and even the horizontal part in the fold, these, these scars hardly ever turn into real thick looking uh, excessive scars or keloid type scars so we're very pleased to report that that is not a, a big threat and in fact um i've had and you know this is true we've had most of the patients that we see mm -hmm. have incisions that look outstanding yes. at one year where you can barely 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 see that they even had a lift right. in fact in pictures you can't you really can't see the scars right. and it's only when you get up close. And those patients that still have any pinkness at all at one year, we tell them, well, you know what, give it another year. Because at two years, it, they don't have any pinkness. And if you don't have pinkness, right. then there's nothing to really attract the eye to that scar because it blends in. And it doesn't really matter whether you're Hispanic, black, white, or Indian, or whatever. Everybody seems to do very, very well with these incisions. Once yes. in a while, there may be some little pigment you know, irregularity um, in the scar itself. But as far as the scar being raised or, or horrible, we're just, not, we're just not seeing that with this particular operation that we're doing now.